Hello and welcome to video number 10. In this video we're going to talk about Live Website Rules 101. I'm going to talk about several things that you need to understand because I, I know for a fact that if you don't know about FTP and you don't know about necessarily about website stuff, you're probably asking the question, well how did you get you know this web page to show up? You know, you might be having a problem because you named your HTML file, let's say for example, if I name this HTML file something like FTP and I click on enter, it'll change that, rename that. So as you can see, you can always you can also rename things if you want to by clicking on them once. But besides that, if I do that, you will notice that if I refresh the page, it disappears. Even though there's an HTML file, it disappears. So for some of you, I know that some of you might be asking, well, how do I make it so that that web page appears? Well, basic website rules 101 says that you need to have a dot a index.html file or an index.htm file. So as long as your HTML or web page is called index.htm or index.html, it'll work. It'll show up. So if I refresh the page again, I see the page. Even if I rename it to index.html and I refresh it, it's the same. Even that index.php files will work, but if your file is anything other than an index.html file, then you pretty much are not going to have a website up. So as you understand that as long as there's an index.html or index.html file within a folder any folder of yours then it'll appear on the web browser and that's the way browsers read your files if they don't see an index.html or index.html they will not appear on your live site so that's one thing that I wanted to make sure that you understood as a basic website 101 rule so if you have any problems and you do name your files anything other than index or index.html index.html you will get errors because that's just how the browser reads files 